Coming up on this week's Falcon Fever, golf season is underway at UM. See how the team fared in the first tournament of the year. And the baseball team looks to keep their early season momentum going against the number one team in Division II. Plus, both the men's and women's basketball teams face some game competition over the weekend. We'll recap the highlights and see what's next for both squads. Falcon Hi, and welcome to this week's Falcon Fever. I'm Michael Archeris. And I'm Chloe Allen. Thanks so much for joining us. After beating St. Leo two games to one in the first series of the season, the Falcons baseball team looked to keep their hot start going. First up was a home game against Stillman College. Four pitchers combined to throw a 6-0 shutout, led by Alex Guilford, Guilford's five strikeouts and, Todd's, and Todd Thompson's two stolen bases. The team then went on, to the went on the road for a three-game series with Delta State. Games one and two went to Delta as Montevallo could only score one in both games, losing 11-1 to one and 7-1. to one. Game three went back and forth for nine innings before Delta won with a walk-off double, winning 9-8. Winning nine to eight. The team returns home this Saturday for a seven-game homestand to start the Peach Belt play. First up is a three-game series against Georgia Southwestern on, September, on February 16th and 17th, then a single game against North Alabama on the 20th, and finally a three-game series with, U, with UNC Pembroke on the 23rd and 24th closes out a busy week for the baseball team. The men's golf team began their new season by participating in the spring kickoff intercollegiate tournament in Jacksonville, Florida. After a grueling two days on the course, the men finished 7th out of 17th. Junior Connor Godsey placed first individually with a score of 2 under par. The Falcons returned to action March 4th and 5th at the Sanford University, University Intercollegiate Tournament hosted by Hoover Country Club. A former UM soccer player is running for a good cause. Landon Cooper is trying to bring awareness to sarcoma cancer research. He plans to run, run across the country from the San Francisco Bridge to the White House in hopes of raising $100,000 in research money. Landon is running in memory of his friend Ashley Davis, who died of Ewing sarcoma in April of 2011. Landon was a member of University of Montevallo's soccer team from 1997 through 2000. If you are interested in following his journey, you can like his Facebook page, Miles to Give. Good luck to Landon on his run. Switching gears to women's basketball, the Falcons played Georgia College last Thursday and hit the road Saturday to face Clayton State. UM came away with a 63-57 win despite shooting from just 37% from the field and 62% from, from the charity stripe. Taylor Beverly led the way with 18 points, 11 rebounds, and 4 block shots. Trina Moore Smith and Jacqueline Thompson added 12 and 14 points respectively. Saturday was a different story for the Falcons as they were shot down by Clayton State Lakers. The women shot just under 33% from the field and were dominated in every statistical category. The only bright spot for the squad was their free throw percenting shootage, shooting about 92%. As of showtime Wednesday afternoon, the women hope to catch their rhythm again as they host Georgia Southwestern tonight. That game got underway at 5.30. They will be home again at 1.30 p.m. this Saturday as they hope to exact revenge for the harsh loss they suffered at the hands of the Lakers. On February 23rd, the Falcons will go on the road for their last time of the regular season to face Georgia College. That game begins at 2.30 p.m. In men's basketball, the Falcons are working hard to match last season's dominating performance. On the 7th, the Falcons took on PBC opponent Georgia College here at Montevallo. Aided by 29 points from the bench, the Falcons won the game easily, running away with a 69-49 win. Silas Miles added 13 points and 15 rebounds to lead his team in both stats while off the bench. On the 9th, the Falcons traveled to Morrow, Georgia to take on Clayton State. Teron Brown posted 22 points and 9 assists to lead the team, but the Falcons fell short 66-64. The Falcons take on Georgia Southwestern Wednesday night here at Montevallo. Then on Saturday, UM hosts Georgia College for their only nationally televised game this season. The game will be shown on CBS and starts at 11 a.m. Please come out and support your Falcons. Now it's time to highlight our Falcon Fever Player of the Week. Back in Fever correspondent Jolyn Hanna at the de is, joins us at the desk to introduce us <coughs> this week's standout athlete. Hi, Jolyn. Hi, guys. Um, this week's um, Player of the Week is Cody Hughes from the baseball team. 
Cody is a freshman here at UM and he attended Central High School in Phoenix City, Alabama. In high school, he played football and baseball and says that football helped him become a better baseball player. Cody also graduated in the top 10 of his class. What kind of influence has your family had on you as an athlete? Uh, my family's had a lot of influence on me. They've always been big on sports, but another thing is, is that my parents have always pushed me to be the best I can in whatever I do. And just, just because my talent happens to be in baseball, they push me to be the best no matter what and always try to achieve my top potential. And that's how they've influenced me. You are, you're both a football player and a baseball player. Um, how do the two compare to each other and which do you like better? Um, in high school, I, I like both a lot, but, um, Playing football in high school made me such a better baseball player and coming to college and understand the mindset. Um, football builds a lot of mental toughness and it tries to help you understand what it takes to push farther and that you, you can go farther than your, than your mind actually lets you. So uh, I, just let, I just let that take over in baseball and understand that baseball is a game of failure. You're going to fail more than you're going to succeed and it helps me get through those tough times and understand that I can stay in a good mindset no matter what. What are your expectations for this season? Um, nothing less than going to a regional and hopefully going to a World Series. Um, I try to stay oriented as a team, team-oriented goals, and um, I expect a lot out of this team. This team's really close. Um, these guys love each other and, and really are going to fight for each other on that field, and um, I'm excited to see what's to come in this season. So um, what is it like adjusting from high school baseball to college baseball? Um, it's a lot faster. Um, it's a different game, and at the same time, it's the same game. In high school, there's not as many skilled players, and um, there's a lot more less room for error. There's a lot less room for error in college baseball. Um, I'm having to adjust on the fly, being a freshman and getting a lot of playing time. But uh, but other than that, it's still the same ball game, but it just runs a little bit faster, and there's better players out there. You're both an infielder and a pitcher. Um, which do you like better, and how do they compare? Um, that's a tough question. Uh, I was both in high school and both now, and usually in college, you either choose one or the other. I mean, you don't really get to choose. Eventually, the coach kind of chooses for you. But um, as of right now, I can't, I can't pick a favorite just because two are both exhilarating things. Um, being able to hit and pitch is just a wonderful opportunity. I hope I get to do it throughout my whole Montevallo career. Okay, in the game against St. Leo, you had two saves. Tell me about that. Um, I had the role of being the closer, and I knew that before coming in, so I just had to prepare myself to come in and do what I needed to do. But uh, I'm not going to lie, I was pretty nervous going in there the first time. But um, I was put in a couple of tough situations with uh, some runners in scoring position with my team, and um, I needed to come through for them. And I just went in there and trusted my stuff and uh, did the best I could and ended up working out for me. That led to you being named PBC Freshman of the Week. Tell me about that. What's that like? Uh, a little overwhelming, actually. Uh, I didn't expect that at all. I didn't see it until I saw uh, on a Twitter feed from PBC Sports. And I, I looked at it for a second, and then I couldn't believe that I was actually named Freshman of the Week. <laughs> it was kind of confirmation that hard work is beginning to pay off and that there's more to come in that aspect. Thank you, Cody Hughes, our Falcon Fever Featured Player of the Week. If you would like to suggest an athlete for Falcon Fever Player of the Week, contact us through our Falcon Fever Facebook page or Twitter. You can also leave a comment on our Montevallo For You YouTube page. Thanks, JoLynn. Now it's time to announce our Fan of the Week. This week's featured fan is Tanya Fleming. Tanya has, has an important role here at the university. She is the president of our National Broadcasting Society and organizes all of the monthly meetings. She's doing a great job this far in the semester, and those Mass Comm students who are in who are in NBS are looking forward to the Las Vegas trip. Thanks, Tanya, for all of your hard work with NBS. Yes, thank you, Baby B. Remember, you can get more Falcon Fever on YouTube and through social media. You can also watch current and past episodes of Falcon Fever on, YouTube, on the MassCom YouTube channel. Just search for Montevallo for you. And be sure to add us as a friend on Facebook. There you'll find links to sports stories throughout the week and live updates from the games. You can also leave a comment, talk about recent games, or give a shout out to your favorite UM athlete. And if you're at a UM athletic event, be sure to snap a picture and tag us in to our Facebook. We'll share your pictures with the rest of our Facebook fans. Thanks to all the folks that have sent us pictures so far. You can also follow us on Twitter. Just search for UM Falcon Fever. And if you do leave us a comment on Facebook or Twitter, we might feature it on the next week's show. And last but not least, you can get extended UM coverage on MontevalloFalcons.com. There you'll also find team rosters, live stats, pictures, and more. 
Well, that's all the time we have for this week's show. Be sure to tune in next week. We'll see you then.